Everybody, happy Tuesday. I'm Bobby Fye here for my five and five, my top five plays in five minutes. Hopefully you guys were watching yesterday and everything. Um, ended up finishing fourth in the uh, Rainmaker for 20K, which was a really nice night. Would have been really nice to get the win for 125, but hey, we'll take it. It's, uh, you know, it's been a nice, nice run for us and we're going to keep it going tonight. I uh, do want to remind everybody, please click to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Check out TrueDFS.com. The site's looking terrific and better and better by the day. We're adding some new partners and uh, have some cool new uh, optimizers coming up pretty shortly. So let's get into this slate. Um, basically, you're going to have weird value. Now, we don't know who's starting yet for New York. And this is a, you're going to get OB top in it if he's starting at like the most ridiculous ownership you've ever seen. Probably the same is true for Sims. I'm okay with both of them. I, I would like to see the starting lineup before I commit, but it's going to be hard to resist that value with no Julius Randle tonight. Uh, maybe you could include Mitch Robinson in some of your mixes as well, uh, just to try and take advantage of the, you know, the rebounding equity he has without Randle there, et cetera. Uh, Caruso, Con Caruso, Connaughton, and Allen, more value because we have some really good spend-ups tonight, which we'll get to in a minute. But I have this tier as where I'm probably playing one of these guys in each of my lineups at the moment. I don't think like all any of them are absolutely necessary, but they are good values to open things up. See Levine's status later on to, to figure that one out for sure with Caruso. But I do like him in this type of matchup. I do worry about that game getting a little bit out of hand, which would speak more to Connaughton. Um, and then Grayson Allen is the one no one's going to play and can always shoot himself into a game on a four game slate. I don't mind it. Barrett Burks quickly. Basically, all the Knicks are crazy values tonight. Um, Barrett's going to be the mega chalk. I can't really argue much with it. Uh, I would say that I think you could play Burks and quickly in lineups that you're not playing him to get a little bit different. Still not going to be that different because Burks is going to be really popular and quickly will be really popular as well. But I do think these guys are somewhat necessary again um, on this slate. And it's a great matchup against Atlanta. I love the Trey Young back. Trey, Trey Young. Uh, running run running run back uh, in new york with all the narrative and everything and the way that the fans are with him i think this is one we should attack so i i do have trey a little bit ahead of Giannis and luca on dk which is kind of crazy but uh it feels a little nerve-wracking especially with no middleton for Giannis and lucas i mean uh, no, i put luca in there again i always do this i always write the wrong name and i mean Jokic. i do that with luca and Jokic for some reason the most um but anyway let me correct that real quick but it is a uh, it is going to be in that order. The problem is Jokic scored 93 fantasy points the last time these teams played um, and can do it again. I, I, it really worries me a little bit uh, to not have enough of them. So I will have exposure to all of them, but I do like Trey the best currently. Um, then we get into the, the uh, you know, that, that, that sort of 50, 600, 50, well, 5K to 6K range, maybe a little over 6K for Portis. But I think these are the other guys you're mixing in. I love Marcus Morris and this little, little revenge narrative uh, for his brother. Always makes me nervous that I could get ejected because he's got attitude and Jokic is not going to let anybody push him around or do anything of the sort. So, uh, but I do like Morris anyway. 5,600 is a fair price. I like him to stay in this game. I like Morris a little more than I like the 7,200 uh, Reggie Jackson, but I don't mind that one either. Uh, Gallinari, I think, is a really good play going back to MSG at 5,100 if you're not playing Trey, especially. Um, and then we'll see about Bogdanovich. Draymond Green is the one who I don't think is going to get any love tonight. And I just think that there's a chance against this Orlando team, you could see one of those old Draymond Green, like weird triple double type of games. And, and I really, really like him for tournaments. Uh, Bobby Portis against his old Bulls team. It's not in Chicago, so don't get the full narrative. But you do lose Middleton and the usage is going to go to, to me between Holiday, uh, uh, Holiday Portis and, and, and uh, obviously Giannis the most. Holiday is an obvious play who's not on either of these lists. And I probably should have had him on there. But he's a very obvious, really strong play. I'm just trying to find ways to build a little bit differently. So I just didn't put him on the list, but Holiday absolutely should be on this list. He's the best in the 7K range of all the guards. Um, on FanDuel, a little bit different. I have I think Giannis is, is more of a priority over there, easier to get in. Jokic and then Trey. Just because of the turnovers with Trey and everything. I still love Trey over there, but it's just how I have it ranked right now. They're all really good, but the, the discount on Giannis and Jokic are hard to ignore. And you could play two of these guys pretty comfortably. I think once you get to three, it gets a little bit nerve wracking uh, in terms of the other guys you're using. Again, Toppin, Sims, one of those two, probably going to be mostly Toppin. Uh, Sims also only center eligible. Vooch is 6,900, DDR 7,800, and Levine is 75. All of these guys are terrific plays. Um, I think Vooch is the one I will have the most of, but it's a, it's a possibility that it could be DDR. They're really close between those two for me. Then you have Barrett Burks quickly again, same thing as before, uh, all in great spots. Again, losing, Rand, losing Randall's usage is going to help all these guys out. And then Bobby Portis is the priority guy for me on FanDuel, but I do like a little Marcus Morris as, Mar Marcus Morris as well, so I will be getting some exposure that way. Um, but those are sort of, that's sort of my rundown. I will be live at 5.45 Eastern time on the True DFS channel. 
and uh, let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's make some money. It's been a really, really good run for NFL, for NBA, for golf. And uh, let's see if we can't do it again. Good luck, everybody.